Need more fodder while arguing with your liberal friends? We've got you covered. AM 1170, The Answer. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170, The Answer. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty, Mr. Jason Hall, Team Home Loans. Before the break, we were talking with Ian Top, our bankruptcy expert here at Whistle Wednesdays. If you want to connect with Ian, see if bankruptcy might be an option for you. Give us a call. Shoot us a text. 619-663-SELL. 619-663-7355. And I want to turn our attention. David Kreza, you are one of the newest members of the team at Whistle Realty. Yes, sir. And you moved here from Detroit. So... Tell me a little bit, how'd you end up in San Diego from Detroit? Uh, I actually went from Metro Detroit, Dearborn. Uh, I went to school in Grand Rapids, and some people that I met in Grand Rapids moved out to Denver, Colorado, so I followed them out there. And from there, I had a buddy moving from Dearborn to Los Angeles, and he was driving through Denver. He wanted someone to make the rest of the trip with him. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely, let's go. So we got here, and, uh, and I, I didn't want to leave. Must be nice to be young. You just jump in a car and decide to go. (laughs) You love this, Ian, right? I'm like, aren't we sitting here going, man? I wish, you know, I wish I was 20 years younger. So yeah, a month after uh, our little vacation here, I was uh, I moved to Oceanside. Had some family members there, so I came up and stayed with them for a little bit. Actually, found Kyle's company, Whistle Realty. Started working with them. Been there, actually, been about a year and a half now. Yeah, flying by. But uh, yeah, after you know, I got the job. I I had to move out of there. I couldn't live with the family anymore. Just got tired of it. So I started looking for a place to rent and. It's crazy, man. So Dude. let's talk about the rental game here. So coming from you know Metro Detroit, Dearborn area, what is yep. a two bedroom apartment rent for out there? Gosh, probably six fifty, seven hundred a month. Wow. And out here, I think they're about so, twenty two, twenty five hundred a month for a two bedroom. That's crazy. Crazy, man. That's I, th- crazy. I think the <laughs> rental market is going to help you out, Ian. I think you're going to see more people going bankrupt from renting Basically. than anything else. I mean, it's insane. And um, it's only going up. I mean, yeah. I think the numbers are what seventeen percent each year. They're going to go up the uh, the rental market, and so how's that happening, Kyle? I mean, we we can I mean, know what's, here's what's crazy. Supply so, and demand. We could talk about this, but how is rent can and it's con, you know is post projected to continue to go up? Yeah, I mean it's crazy. So I, um, our studio is right near UTC, and I used to live across the street at Costa Verde in the apartments there when I went to school at UCSD, and I was paying for a one bedroom there, and it was seven hundred bucks a month, and this was in like two thousand. Um, 2002, 2003, it was 700 bucks a month. That same unit is almost $2,000 a month now. So just in, you know, a little over 10 years, it has literally tripled. Yeah. 300%. In rent. I mean, it's absolutely astounding. And I mean, it just makes me wonder like how, how do you afford to rent anymore? I mean, uh, a good buddy of ours downtown has been looking to rent a place and he can't find a one bedroom downtown for under two grand a month. Yeah, I mean, one bedroom, it's going to make it tough. I mean, uh, a lot of people we're starting to see have multi people live in the home, right? Whether it's multifamily, multi friends, people are getting creative and finding ways um, to make it happen. But in certain ways, that only continues to drive up the stuff because people are willing to pay that. Right. Right. And so as long as people are willing to pay it, it will continue to go there. And part of it's the supply and demand. We stopped building houses when the market crashed. Right. Right. Including some of the units. But if you look around and even drive by there in Mira Mesa, by the Mira Mesa movie theater, I mean, they put in a ton of new rental units around that movie Massive. theater on both sides. And stuff goes up so quick now. I mean, you drive by one day and you're like, oh, wow, there's new construction. You drive by six months later and it's like people look like they've already moved in. Right. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I think, like you said, $2,000 for a one bedroom apartment downtown. I mean, that's $24,000 a year. What's the median income here? About sixty grand. Yeah, and that's gross income. Yeah, so you're talking yeah, about thirty percent going just to rent. Just to rent, and, and that's not building. And we network. wonder why that's they're putting stuff on credit equity. cards, right? Because they still want their iPhones, <laughs> yeah. their their trips, right? Ian, I'm looking exactly. at Ian here. I mean, you know, this is Ian's just licking his lips over here. The yeah. more the rent goes up, the more people like it's just tough to afford anything, you right? Know, but that's crazy. you and I have talked about this since you were very young, right? That's why you jumped into the real estate market. Not only you first jumped in as an actual buyer. Right, you didn't jump in to be a broker and be the top agent that you are now today, per the Wall Street Journal, two years in a row. But you jumped in and you saw, hey, prices are only going to probably go up, rents going to go up. Why would I want to pay rent? And so your first place, we've talked about this many times, was like five six bedroom place. It was an old retirement home that had been converted back into a house. And Kyle was like, "This is perfect. 
I got all these buddies like Dave who need to rent a place. <laughs> and so he rented all his rooms out, Ian, to where literally he I made was, money. He made yeah. money as a first time homeowner. Right? That, that's I was what makes making a thousand dollars a month. Wow. Living in and owning a huge party house. Wow. <laughs> it was like the best thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. It was an absolutely so, amazing thing. So if you're listening right now and you're worried and like and I know Dave's trying to get more in the real estate market, actually get in a trying to get in a position to be able to purchase in the future, you need to start buying. Right? That's the key to get ahead. And we've been talking about this on many shows, Kyle. We already know Governor Brown has already set into law minimum wage. So guess what? Those on the bottom, they're going to get a little bit more money. And I know they think it's going to go further, but it's not. Inflation is going to continue to rise. Definitely. Stuff like real estate prices, the rents, uh, the cars, all that's going to go up. So the way for you to protect and actually get ahead is to purchase real estate yourself. It's Follow in the steps of somebody right like now. Kyle, buy a place and rent out some of the rooms. Yeah. Right? I mean, if you could do that today, Dave, wouldn't that make sense? Like, if you bought a three bedroom house, how much could you rent one of your rooms for, buddy? I, you know, without taking advantage of somebody, you could probably do it easily $1,000 a month. Yeah. I so, mean, I mean, and, so if it costs you, say, 2800 bucks, and you're getting tax breaks on that. Yep. So, let's say it's, you know, after taxes cost you maybe, let's say, 2100 Let's just throow 21 as a number, and you rent 1000 1000 you're paying 100 bucks. Yep. Right? Why don't more people do this, Kyle? Because it just makes too much damn sense, Jason. Right. It's just too damn logical. I mean, here's what's crazy is, is two things, they typically go up together, they go down together. And that's home prices and rent prices. So if you know they're both going to go up over the long haul, which statistically speaking in San Diego, they've gone up 5 to 6% a year. If you know both things are going to go up, which end of that equation do you want to be on? Do you want to be on the side who's paying the rent and watching your the owner's value go up? Or do you want to Here, be the here's, owner? Here's it's the reason, Ian, Ian mentioned it earlier. It's the immediate gratification, right? Everybody wants it now. Yes. And so guess what? People are not willing to sacrifice to come up with a down payment if needed or even required, which a lot of loan programs do not even require that, but many do. And so they keep saying, well, I'll do it next year, next year, next year. And they just spend money and don't prioritize. They want everything today. We as football fans and fantasy football players, we all want to win right now. We want our teams to win right now. We don't want to wait three or five years for them to build a program, right? right? Unfortunately, most of us in society, we do the same thing. We do not save. We do not set priorities. We live for today. We're not thinking about tomorrow. We're not thinking about our future. We're not thinking about retirement. And in five, 10 years, will pass. And when they do, we look back and go, well, why didn't I get ahead? Mm -hmm. You know what? We get to blame ourselves. All of us here, as well as you've done, Kyle, We've talked about this. You could have done so much better had you done and prioritized a few more things in your life, right? Same with me. We're, we're here not just preaching it. We we could have done better, right? But the thing is, we've made some wise investments. We continue to make more. And that's the key here, guys, is you have to be able to, to what's the word, avoid the immediate gratification. Set those priorities. Talk to me, Ian. Well, no, I'm, I think you're right on target. But also, people in general, they it's easier to rent. I mean, you're paying one check to a landlord. When people think about home Easy, owners, yeah. when people think about home ownership, they think, okay, mortgage, property taxes, all these things that they got to deal with. They're in charge of their own maintenance they're, rather than a landlord. I mean, yeah, there is some some hassle with renting in general, but um, but people just don't think about how easy it can be to to own a home, and I think that's where the two between Jason and Kyle and, and people in your industries need to, I mean, be out there and, ha and help out because otherwise they're going to end up in my office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they really do. It's, it's, it's sad, but I know those who own a lot of real estate, like Mr. Whistle, they actually like the fact that rents keep going up and people just can't I love that Prioritize. my property manager's like, hey, we need to raise your rents again. Hey, we need to raise your rents again. Hey, we need to raise your rents again. It's like, it's the most amazing thing. And I'm just sitting here and I'm, I'm looking at my mortgage payment, you know, and, and I started buying heavily again in 2011, 2012. So I've owned these places for like five, six years now. And, you know, my payment is exactly the same today as it was in 2011. But a place that I bought in 2011 that was renting for 900 is now renting for 1200. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about that. Which side of that equation do you want? Do you want the fixed payment for the next 30 years? Or do you want the payment that's going up every single year? 
and getting none of the equity as a result of it. I mean, it's just mind blowing that people just continue to do this over and over. Yeah, that's why you need to reach out to somebody like Kyle at 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. Oh, you got Remember, it. Like three, three weeks, weeks off, two weeks, three weeks and you off, come right? back and you got wow, the number down. Wow, you got that tan. I got yeah, that. so I mean, I if you want to sit down and you want to get out of the rat race of renting and just getting pissed off that you get a rental increase notice every single year, my mother-in-law just got hers, another hundred bucks a month. Mm. If you want to get out of that rat race, give us a call. We'd love to lay it out there and look at your options of renting versus owning. See what makes the most sense for you. 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. We're going to head to a break. When we get back, Jason, I want to talk what's the latest with mortgage rates. And let's and, talk some Trump. And we'll, we'll talk, talk a little we Trump. We do that. Let's talk right. a little Trump. Trump. We'll talk a little Trump when we get back. You're listening to Whistle Wednesdays on AM 1170, The Answer.